Let's pray together. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless your name for this glorious day, the day of your power. Thank you, Lord, because you've kept us alive to see this day, the day of miracle, the day of your manifestation, the day of the supernatural. And it's the day when heavens will open up upon every heart, every life in Jesus' name. We pray, Lord, that those who are weak will be strong. Those who are poor, you make them prosperous. And those who have been defeated in life, give everyone dominion in Jesus' name. Wipe away whatever had happened in yesteryears. And give us a bright future as we follow on in the name of the Lord in Jesus' name. Once again, Lord, open our eyes to see. And when we see the path you go, we'll walk therein. I will never go back in Jesus' name. We we'll bless your name because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you very much. We can sit down. As you look at Daniel chapter 3, we find the hour of suffering. And the hour of persecution and the hour of the tyrant wanting to oppress, wanting to destroy the people of God. But in that hour of suffering, the power of the supernatural came to be manifested on behalf of the people of God. And because there is a God who changes not. And because we have the Christ who is the same yesterday and today and forever. That's the reason we know when our hour comes, there will be power for our hour. Give me a good amen. amen. Daniel chapter 3 verse 15. Now, if ye be ready, that at what time ye hear the sound of the cornet, the flute, harp, sackbut, psaltery, and dulcimer, and all kinds of music, ye fall down and worship the image that I have made. Well, but if ye worship not, ye shall be cast into the same, ye shall be cast the same hour. That's the hour, the hour of threatening, the hour of the tyrant, and the hour of this domineering personality intimidating, frightening, terrifying the people of God and saying when the time comes and you see the signal if you fall down and fall in line and do what I the king of Babylon what I the tyrant of the land what I, the destroyer of human progress and human life, what I decree. If you fall down, forget about God and forget about conviction and forget about your hope in the Lord. Listen to me. I'm the one in charge. You fall down and worship what I tell you to worship. That will be all right. But if you refuse that same hour, you'll be cast in the midst of a burning, fairy furnace. And who is that God that shall deliver you out of my hands? What an hour! It's an hour challenge. What an hour! It's an hour when. The test comes upon your life, whether you have the power for the hour or not. Thank God for Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And I thank God for you. I said I thank God for you. 
you will not bow you will not bend you will not give up your face at the time when it matters to stand i were told in verse 16 shedrach meshach and abednego answered and said to the king O nebuchadnezzar they looked him straight in the face eyeball to eyeball and he said O nebuchadnezzar they even called him by his name directly we are not careful to answer thee in this matter if it be so those people had the power for the hour and i want to tell you you have the power for the hour and it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what Nebuchadnezzar is threatening it doesn't matter what the people who think that your life is in their hand it doesn't matter what the people who think that your destiny and the direction of your life your decisions whether you are happy or you are not happy and whether you succeed or you don't succeed the same it's not the brain you have it's not the plan you have it's in our hands that's what Nebuchadnezzar was saying he says I don't care for your conviction I don't care for the doctrine you believe I don't care for the faith you think you have your destiny is in my hand and he said Nebuchadnezzar you'll see the person that has the power it's not the one that brags and it's not the one that says this is what i will do they said if it be so our god whom we serve is able to deliver us from the bony fairy furnace and he will think about that they said here is the proposal and here is the confidence we have in the lord he is able your god is able the one who opened the red sea is still there he is able and the one that made the jericho walls to fall down he is still there the same never changing he is able and the one that destroyed one eighty five thousand of the army of sinakerub at the time of the people of god is there he is able and the one that opened blind eyes and the one that made jesus our lord and savior to rise from the dead and the one that manifested power unlimited power immeasurable power even to raise jesus from the dead after rolling away the stone he is still there our god is able able to deliver us from the bony fairy furnace and it will deliver us out of thine hand O king let's see now the power for that hour we're looking at verse 27 and the princes and the governors and the captains and the kings counselors being gathered together saw these men that's after they cast them into the fire they called them out they went in just to fellowship with the lord jesus christ and then after some time they came out of the fire this day you are coming out of the fire burning in your brain and burning in your body and burning in your family and burning all around you see the flames of nebuchadnezzar going up you're coming out because there is power for your hour and then it says they saw these men upon whose bodies the fire had no power the fire had no power the fury had no power the machinations and maneuvering of the enemy will not have any power upon your life nor was an air of their head seen neither was their was their coats changed nor the smell of fire passed on them that's the power for the hour we're talking about the power to turn bondage to breakthrough i thought you'll say amen 
yesterday's bondage will turn to today's breakthrough the power the supernatural power that turns bondage into breakthrough and it will happen today to you for you it will happen in jesus name after this transformation of your bondage to your breakthrough the waters of suffering in the past that has been raging and roaring all that will come to a calm in jesus name i'm looking at some one one six some one one six from verse 16 oh lord truly i am thy servant i am thy servant he repeats that again and the son of the handmaid thou hast loosed my bonds your life anything that enemy tied up there is a loosing taking place in jesus name i will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and i will call upon the name of the lord i will pay my vows unto the lord now in the presence of all his people then it says in verse 19 in the courts of the lord's house in the midst of thee o jerusalem praise ye the lord he lose your burden he'll take the burden away it will destroy the works of the devil in your life in jesus name jeremiah chapter 30 i'm reading from verse 8 jeremiah chapter 30 we're looking at verse 8 for it shall come to pass in that day says the lord of hosts that i will break his yoke from off thy neck the yoke is broken the burden is removed the bondage is turned onto breakthrough and i will burst thy bonds and strangers shall no more serve themselves of him people you don't know tormenting your life those days are gone the people you don't know you went to school you didn't know them you got your job you didn't know them when you were sweating to be able to get qualified they, they were nowhere to be found now you sweated and you've got the job now you sweated and you've got the wife now you've sweated and got the husband now you sweated and built a house now you have sweated and after sweating and sweating and sweating burning the midnight candle now you got the reward the promise of what god said i will give to the faithful and then a stranger that didn't know when you were struggling and sweating and reading and studying and praying and fasting and waiting upon the lord the stranger just showed up and he said hey Wait on, come on here. Success does not depend on praying, fasting, struggling, studying, and doing whatever. Success depends on me, the stranger. If I say you will not succeed, you will not succeed. If I say you'll not be happy, you'll not be happy. God forbid. I said, God forbid. You will trample on all those strangers in Jesus' name think about a man that all his life all that he got he put it into what he wants to do in life and then somebody after you have labored for so long for many years somebody one night appeared in the dream and he's and you don't even know this fellow this is a stranger and he says i'm telling you that you know we are here and since we're here you'll never make it and i say get out of that place i said get out of that place they meet you in the dream we conquer them my prayers for you will conquer them 
the promise of Jesus will conquer them. The power of the Holy Ghost in this day of His power will conquer them in Jesus' name. And I want to tell you, don't live your life on dreams. Don't you live your life on the threat of a stranger, somebody you don't know. Don't you know Jesus? Don't you know God? Don't you know the Holy Ghost? Don't you know the promise of your father? And then a stranger comes and he says, your destiny depends on me. I command those strangers to vanish away right now in Jesus' name. Look at that verse 8 again. It tells us in verse 8, For it shall come to pass. In that day says the Lord of hosts, That I will break his yoke from off thy neck, And will burst thy bounds, And strangers shall no more serve themselves of him, But they shall serve the Lord their God, And David their king, Whom I will raise up unto them, Therefore fear thou not, O my servant Jacob, says the Lord, neither be dismayed, O Israel, for lo, I will save thee from afar, and thy seed from the land of their captivity. And Jacob shall return and shall be in rest and be quiet, and none shall make him afraid. Give me a good amen there. In verse 17, for I will restore. Everybody say restoration. Your day of restoration has come in Jesus' name. For I will restore health unto thee, and I will heal thee of thy wounds, says the Lord, because they called the an outcast, saying, This is Zion, whom no man seeketh after. But things are changing. I said, Things are changing. And they are changed forever, completely, permanently, in Jesus' name. The power to turn bondage to breakthrough. Three points we are doing, Kotsonida, before we break all those yokes. Before we destroy all those six, the works of the devil away from your life. From today, you'll never be the same again. Point number one, different forms of bondage. Different forms of bondage. Point number two, definite freedom from bondage. Definite freedom from bondage. Number three, dynamic phase for breakthrough. Dynamic faith for breakthrough. Number one, different forms of bondage. You need to know the problem before you see the solution. You need to understand the bondage before you enjoy, experience the breakthrough. Different forms of bondage. Psalm 107 verse 10. Psalm 107. Verse 10, such a sage in darkness and in the shadow of death, being bound in affliction and iron. That's a kind of bondage. They try to move forward. There is a chain of iron on their legs. They try to make progress. There is a kind of bondage of iron that is tying them down holding them back and they try to have the good things of life and they say so and so got it i can get it too so and so made it i can make it too and the devil said where while he's there and then he ties them down with great bondage the brain is good, but the body 